Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. It's Annie here at Vintage Lace Journal. Now today I'm going to show you for Tag Time Tuesday these gorgeous little tag books and they are super easy to make. Um, I've made these ones before but I've never videoed myself doing it. So what it is is it's a tag book so it's a book to obviously hold tags and this is made from one sheet of 12 by 12 paper. So it's obviously decorated on the back and the front and then when you open it up inside you have lots of these little mats and lots of these little places for tags. And what happens with the tags is you have one at the top and the next page you have one at the side. And then you have one at the top and then you have one at the side and so on. One at the top and one at the side and then one at the top. Now I've just simply matted pieces of um, cardstock onto here and decorated them. However, if you wanted to do anything else, it's up to you. Just bear in mind, these do get super chunky with the tags in. If you started to add pockets inside here as well, um, you'd find it quite hard to then obviously do these up. So I've got um, some 3D embellishments in here I've just put on with pads. And obviously that's made that quite chunky, quite bulky. Now I would use this personally as photographs on this bit and then perhaps some little memories or um, little sentences dates and things on the tags so on the top ones you can see I put ribbons on the side ones I haven't because obviously your closure goes onto that part as well okay so that's how we make it and again I've used plain cardstock when I've made mine and then covered with decorative paper you could use decorative paper to start off with um, and then do it that way but these are so super easy super fun to make this is an Easter one lots of little Easter bits inside Happy Easter. So again, lots of photographs on these mats and then your memories and things on the tags. So let's get started. So like I said, you need one sheet of 12 by 12 paper and this one's got sand print on it and like a watery print on the other side because I'm going to use this for a travel journal or a holiday one, um, holiday little mini booklets. And I'm using this pad, which is by Craft Sensations. Uh, again, this is from my local range. Um, this is all to do with sea and sand. So the colours in here are like blues and um, tan sort of colours to do with sands. So this has got lovely lots of background papers, big images there. It's also got a sheet that's full of words. OK, so you can cut all those down. And it's also got um, these little squares, which I'm going to use inside the journal I'm making today. So that's what I've used. Obviously, like I always say, you obviously use which papers you want to use. So I'm going to bring in my scoreboard and I've got my inches side here. OK, so pop your 12 by 12 paper on. And you are going to score at three inches. Six inches. And nine inches. So three, six, nine. Then you're going to turn it 90 degrees and do exactly the same on the other side. So three, six, and nine. And that's all the scoring done. And as you can see, that's made a grid. So one, two, three, four, eight, 12, 16. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to bring in my cutter. And we are going to cut down these sections here. So we're going to go cut down this one, down this one, and then up the middle one. So put your paper into your trimmer, or if you want to use scissors. Now we're going to cut down, as you can see, they're grids. So one, two, three, four. We're going to cut down to the third line. So this bottom one here, this bottom three inches, we're going to leave intact. Okay, so pop my blade to the top. And go all the way down and stop there okay so i've just cut down to that bottom one now i'm going to move the paper all the way along to the end this side and do the same so i'm going to come down all the way down and stop on that third one now this time i'm going to come from the bottom so line up from the bottom and I'm going to go up this time and stop here at the third one again. So all the way up and stop there. 
and you get this kind of like W effect. Okay, so we went down that one, up that one, down that one. Okay, so that's all our trimming and cutting done. I'm going to pop that out of the way. And what we need to start doing now is get a bone folder. I just use obviously this flat part of my scoring tool. And we're going to start to fold this alternative way. So the first one's going to come down. Now when you're doing this, you must make sure now, let me come a little bit closer, that your edges line up. Okay, because okay? if you score, um, sorry, bone fold it like that, it will all go skew with. Okay, so fold it that way, then turn over and fold back on itself. Again, lining up and scoring down. Then fold over and fold down. Okay, so now we're going to fold this under. Again, making sure all of our edges keep lining up. If they don't, you can trim them. And we're going to keep doing that process. So going with the grain, with the flow. So once you've gone one way, you're then going to go back the opposite way. I just find it easier to turn the paper because I can line it up a lot better. Okay. And give that a little squish. Turn it over. Line it up. And again, so we've come to the other end. And again, we're going to fold that under. And you can see already there is a little bit of I'm mislining up there, but it's fine because um, well, it just needs pulling over a little bit as well. And then just keep going. So folding, burnishing, folding, burnishing. So once you've gone one way, fold the other way. Making sure they're lining up. And then over. Keep going. Obviously, I'm doing this quite quickly. You'll be able to take a lot more care and time as you do yours. And lastly, fold over. And there we have all our folds and done. So the next thing we're going to start doing is we're going to start gluing these down to create our little book. So the first page will need to open up like a book. Now, what you're going to do as you come along here, you will see the way the folds go. OK, so then my top one in my book, my first page, is going to be a top tag. OK, so I've got this part here. So if I know that's top is going to be opened, I need to glue down the side and along the bottom and I'm using tacky glue so this will stick quite quickly and as you're gluing that's when you need to be careful to make sure that you are gluing down as little as possible because obviously your tags are going to go in there I'm just going to wipe my glue I've left it on the side and it's all squished Okay, so that's our first page and that's our top. So the next one we come is going to be a side opening. So we just need to glue the top part here and the side part here. So down the side and across the top. And then you keep going through the book doing the same thing. We'll give that a good rub, get it holding, and there we have our side pocket. Okay, so top pocket, side pocket, so this one must be a top pocket. So again, glue down the bottom and glue along the edge. Making sure that's lining up. I'm just going to twist that a little bit there. Okay, so top pocket, side pocket, top pocket. So our next one is a side pocket. So this time 
I need to glue down this edge and along the bottom. And again, making sure that's lining up. We give it a real good push down into that glue. Okay, so it's side pocket, so our next one is a top pocket. And we go the other way now. So top pocket, and go along the side and along the bottom. It's just remembering what if you've done a side pocket last or a top pocket, and if you can't remember, just go back and check. Okay, so that's made our top pocket. So our next one will be our side pocket. So again, we glue along the edge and across the top. Really making sure that glue's stuck. And then finally, we will have our last top pocket. Make sure I've just got that right. So, side pocket, top pocket. So, down the bottom and along the side. Oops. Okay, so there we have our opening, we have our top pocket, side pocket, top pocket, side pocket, top pocket, side pocket, top pocket, and our back page. And there we go. Now you can, if you wanted to, um, cut a piece of paper and go over this spine. Um, I'm not worried about that too much. I'm going to leave that as it is because on these ones, um, I've just obviously where I put my ribbon around, I quite like the open effect. If you don't, you can just put a piece of cardboard around here before you put your top mat and layer on. So the next thing I'm going to do is bring in um, whichever ribbon you want to use because this is going to go on before um, our top layer. So I'm going to carry on with a the blue theme and obviously you need to leave enough on here for it to tie and to go around the back and to tie so i think that's plenty enough there use my sharp scissors and i'm just going to put that to a side just for now okay so the next thing i'm going to do before i do my front cover is i'm going to do my insides okay so all of these insides are now blue and the outside is this kind of like sand layer so I've cut mats and layers to go with this. Now, because this is three inches, all of my mats and layers I've made are two and three quarter inches long and two and three quarter inches wide. OK, so they are just going to go on each page like this. And then I've got my next one. So I've cut this in four different patterns, which is just this paper reversed. OK, because it's double sided paper. So I'm going to do a blue one and then a sandy coloured one. Then I'm going to turn over, do a sandy coloured one and a blue one. OK, so making sure I've got them the right way around. So OK, just coming in with my craft glue and sticking on each mat and layer. Now, if you wanted to, this is when you can add pockets and things onto your mats and layers if you wanted to or ink them or whatever you want to do. I'm going to do all my mats and layers first and then I've got these to put in as like little pockets on the side or just words and then obviously pictures because these are the ones remember that um I'm going to use to put pictures in of holidays mm -hmm. so 
so one blue color and then one sandy color and because they are um a quarter of an inch shorter you'll have that same border all the way around both sides okay and i'm going to keep going through so i've done shell sand so i'm now going to do anchor There we go. And then I've got this nice little tropical tree to go on the other side. And it kind of keeps all the colours. When you use a pad, I think it's really lovely that you use all the same coordinating colours. So I'm just going to go back now to my seashells and carry on with this pattern through the book. So there we go, all of my mats and layers are now done throughout the book. And on the front cover, I'm going to have the seashells. And on the back cover, I'm going to have the blue anchors because it's obviously um, sandy colour on the outside. I'm going to have two parts of blue. So before I do that, I'm obviously going to put my ribbon down. So some glue along the front and I'm just going to line this up on my ribbon so grab both ends pull that to and then just stick that down Now I'm going to not glue the spine because obviously that um, opens and shuts so that does need to a little bit of pliability there. And I'm just going to do the same on the back. So don't pull it really tight. Just leave a little bit of a gap for some wiggle room. There we go. Just making sure that's straight. Okay, so now I can put my Front cover on. Again, making sure you've got that even border all the way down. I'm going to get that pressed down over that glue. And then the little blue anchors on the back. There we go. Okay, so what I've done for my tags is I've cut from a kind of like neutral colour. This is some um, hammered cardstock, and I've got a card a tag die. So I've just cut these out, um, just so you know. These measure um, one and three quarter inches. Okay, and they will fit into there. Okay, I'm going to leave these blank because, like I said, these are kind of like journaling cards. Um, really, what I am going to do is on the top of each one. So three, there's four spots at the top and three on the side. So three, I'm just going to pop to one side just for now, and then four of them, I am going to um just ink around the edge in that same kind of blue. And that just lifts that colour just a little bit. So I've just got some blue ink on there. So just pop that around the edge. It's always worthwhile investing in them. Um, this is quite a decorative edge. You can obviously use just the ordinary chop corner like I usually do. 
but um, I've had this die a long long time I've been using this time to go through some of my stash I've organized all my stamps yesterday labeled all the packets which I'm quite impressed with so actually when I go to find something I can actually find it So once you've done these, obviously you can be as elaborate or as, um, I'm going to do a little bit of stamping on these. I've got some lovely little beach stamps I found in my range as well. Okay, so pop that around the edge. And these four, I'm going to use the same blue ribbon to create little tabs at the top. So get your ribbon, decide how big you want it. So these don't need to be really, really big. And that's going to roughly be just like that, enough to pop out of the top. And cut one. And then I can use that to cut the rest of my ribbon, roughly the same size. Two. Three and four. There we go. And like I said before, once you get these, you fold it in kind of like a V shape and pop that down. This is actually probably a bit too long. I might just chop them once I've done it. So a little bit of glue there. I might have to do this with my hot glue gun. I haven't actually got that out at the moment. To hold the bottom part down and then blob of glue to then fold and do the top. I hold it on there with a clip. Hopefully that should be enough. So blob of glue down and a blob of glue on there. And blob does this will work a lot better with them. Um, hot glue gun. Yep, I'm just going to pop these on there now. These little bulldog clips are super handy. And last one. There we go. I was going to leave them to one side just to dry. And I'm going to come back to here. So these ones are going to go in just as they are in the side pockets. Okay, and they do leave this little bit at the side. So that's why we need that bit of larger ribbon here. But it looks quite cute, them just poking out that little bit of blue. So pop your tags in. Oh, I was going to stamp them, wasn't I? So I bought these from, I think they were from Amazon, basically cut a piece of card that goes inside this little pocket in here and then obviously you put down what your um, is inside the bag, this is obviously a travel one, I've got a couple of those and um, yeah it's been really handy to be able to find all of my stamps as and when I need them. And here's a nice little beach one. I'm going to carry on with the blue theme. I've got these little and just down the corner of these three, I'm just going to pop a little something. So 
I've got a starfish. And flip flops. Ooh, let's have a nice big cocktail. It's obviously stamping on the front of these. You can still write on the back. Who doesn't like a cocktail abroad, hey? There we go. So pop them in the side. And then let's have a look at our top ones. So hopefully these should have all stuck on now. That one's just a little bit too long. And these are then going to go in the top. I'm not going to stamp on these because I do want to write on these. Right, put them in. So I've got four in the top and three in the side. It's not quite stuck that one. I'm just going to pop my clip back on. I will go over these once I've finished filming and just glue gun them down. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to just decorate the pages. Um, so I think I'm going to do every other one. Once I cut these... Um, out of the strip of 12 by 12 paper because obviously they're two and three quarter inches i have these little bits left and they actually do fit perfectly across here as cute little belly bands and i thought these could then pop in behind um and you could obviously write little memories on them and um, so pop a bit of glue just a tiny bit at the top and at the bottom And they fit perfectly in once you've cut this off out of a strip of 12 by 12 card. And on the other side, I'm going to use some of these little quotes. So that says feet in the sand. I'm going to pop that down the bottom and hopefully I get a lovely picture of my feet in the sand. Just leaving that little border around each edge. There we go. So meet me where the sky touches the sea. Put that in there. And this next one, I'm going to do a quote on this side. And I'm going to leave that one blank. Because obviously I do need to leave spaces for pictures to go in as well. There we go. Leave that one blank. So next page, I'll probably leave this one blank and pop something on here. Pop like that one. So the paper pad's got lots of different quotes all about sea and holidays. Okay, next one. So I'll leave that blank for pictures and this one with a quote. Now this is a centre page, so I think I'm going to do, ah that's why I had them two mats left. I missed this one somehow. I'm going to do a quote on that page. And leave the other one blank again for a picture. There we go. And 
this one I might do like a little corner tuck spot in there so just glue the edge in the bottom and that could be used to put little receipts in or tickets for something okay. so that leaves that's a little tuck spot in there and next one I'm going to leave this blank this time and I think I'm going to do a belly band on that one Uh, top and bottom and then tropical state of mind pop in there and then last one I think I'm just going to do a nice little quote there Need that one blank for photograph and then ooh, cocktail time and the one at the top. There we go. Now on the front cover, I've got a different stamp, and I'm going to pop that on there, and I'm going to cut it onto that sand coloured card, I think. So I'm just going to get my black ink. Good push down. There we go. So always find time for things that make you happy to feel alive. And I'm just going to cut around this. And ink that in the blue, which I've lost my dabber. So that's going to go there. Just wondering whether I'll have enough room. I'm going to leave that. I like that as it is, but I'm going to raise it up on pads. So just pop a couple of foam pads on the back just to raise that slightly. There we go. And what I do have is in my gem box. Find some sparkly blue. And just pop oops, a couple of those. And on the back, 
I'm going to put hashtag memories. And there we have it. Tag Time Tuesday is a little tag, a booklet. So tie it close, obviously, here. And then we have those beautiful pages in there. So I've used some of them bits for belly bands, little quotes. Obviously, you've got your four tags in there. I think I'm going to stick something onto here. Um, perhaps like a gem or a button, something to make that a little bit more decorative. Same for on here. And then I've got lots of places to obviously put photographs in. A little tuck spot in there, another little belly band. There we go. So that is 12 by 12 paper, tag book, super simple to make, and you can create lots and lots of pictures, quotes, and memories in there. So there we go, tag time Tuesday. Hope you found this fun. Hope you'll have a go at making one yourself. Um, again, lots of different themes, lots of different ways to do this. Have fun with it, make it your own, and I'll see you again soon. Bye!